Okay, something went wrong. Don't know what, don't care. <clears throat> so now I have to start all over again. Yay, internet, right? So, um, trying to remember everything I said last time. Uh, growing up, we moved around a lot. Um, when I was younger, started out being a typical child with Asperger's. My room was, you know, Heinz by Heinz by everything in its place, spotless. And then we kept moving and moving and moving, and slowly my rooms got less and less orderly, like autistic orderly. I had my zones, though. You know, all my pretty things were, you know, all all arranged and pretty, and nothing was allowed to clutter where they were. And my drawers were rank and file, you know, folded a certain way, or rolled in the case of underwear if I didn't have room. You know, all the socks had to be matched. I didn't just throw them in the drawer most of the time. There were times, but more, you know, 99% of the time, the socks and underwear were just as rank and file as everything else. And even today, you look in my closet, everything is facing the same direction. I even have those little extenders that go vertically where you have all the different hangers. I have those organized by color. Uh, they're organized by sleeve length, you know, short sleeve, long sleeve. Um, vests to save space are just put on over other shirts that I don't wear as often. Um, but uh, they say people with Asperger's have trouble focusing on the mundane, you know, ordinary tasks, things that are not really a challenge. They're boring, like the dishes or the filing, part about the filing. So, I'm, but I'm trying to loosen the grip that my chaotic childhood has on me because my brain is chaotic. So I figure if I reconnect with the routine and the orderliness that most people with Asperger's feel compelled to have, maybe my brain will clear up. Declutter. You know, and I've, I've tried all kinds of things. I'll start out having routine and I'll do okay for a few days, maybe two weeks. That's <laughs> so far as far as long as I've been able to go. And then one thing will happen, and it'll derail the routine for that day, or that half a day. And it'll just kind of slide and go back to the chaos that it is now. And I tried setting aside a day for teeny, you know, Saturday or Sunday or whatever. But that doesn't really work when you forget what day it is. <laughs> I saw my daughter online today, and I'm like, what are you doing up at 10.30? Oh, wait, it's Friday, isn't it? So, I'm thinking maybe I can get one of those, like, I don't know, some sort of magnet system with seven days of chores, things that need to be done. And there's no, there's no limit on how many days worth I could get done in a day depending on how my health is and how his health is and what I have scheduled, doctor's appointments, whatever. And you know, have, you know, like, issues. Should be done every day, but they don't always get done every day. I do well when it's just the, the easy stuff. You know, like, you had a sandwich or a bowl of cereal or whatever. When you start talking tomato sauce and grease and things like that, I don't like touching it and it contaminates everything else in the sink. So that's when it tends to pile up and I don't. Ew. And if it was up to me, I'd have one sink for the really, really gross that needs soaking in soap and water and one sink for the not so bad. And sometimes we do manage to keep them separate. But then somehow things get mixed up and the things that weren't too bad 
get greasy or tomatoey or whatever, and it's really stop that. I don't need the screensaver. Turn. Computer. <sighs> anyway, I was just about to wiggle the mouse, so it didn't do that, and it did that. <sighs> So, I want routine, but things always happen to derail it. And then, instead of just jumping back on it, it just kind of slides right out of my head. Like, I forget that I had a routine at all. And then, like, five days later, I'm like, wait a minute, didn't I used to do something about this time of day? You know? Some people think that's why I should get a service dog, because they have to go out, you know, so many times a day. Some people do it three times. I did it four times a day when I had a dog, you know. But, I don't know. So, it's going to be a struggle. But I'm going to school soon, I hope. <laughs> and um, the doctors tell me that if I get into a routine, like, a, this is going to sound weird, but if I get into a routine like a normal person with Asperger's, yeah, I know, weird, normal person with Asperger's, um, maybe I should say typical, but if I get into a routine, they say it'll help clear my head. I don't know. It's worth a shot, right? So, it's trying to shed the chaos of my childhood and a, and early adulthood, you know, economics, stuff like that, because we're in a place that we've been in for over a year, and that's a big thing with us. <laughs> and it's assisted living, so we don't have a reason to move. We're not going to be forced to move. I shouldn't be. It's, it's as stable as it gets. So... Now that we're in stable housing, that is, you know, until and unless I get the farm, and at this rate with his health, I may never get it, but the upshot is we may never, we, we don't have to ever move if we don't want to. So I now have a solid foundation to work off of. You know, I can organize things in the apartment the way I like them, because there's only two things that would get us out of this apartment, that would pry us from this apartment. One, the farm, or two, a two-bedroom in the building. But the thing is, the point is, is I can find permanent homes for things because I know there is a low chance of them ever having to move again. Ever. So, permanency. Hopefully, the permanency of this place will help me get back into the routines that I had as a child. You know, I've kept some small things. You know, like when I make a sandwich, my mother always said, go clean as you go. So, put the peanut butter on, put it away. Put the jelly on, put it away. And I don't deviate peanut butter, and I have the, you know, rank and file on the plate. It's, it's a stupid example, but, <coughs> you know, washing the hands. Always wash the hands. You know, I soap in a certain fashion, and then when I use the nail brush, yes, every time I use a nail brush, I do this side, and of course the cuticles, I do this side, and then I do this thumb, and then this thumb, and I don't vary the routine. Again, it's a silly example, but <coughs> I've kept little teeny silly routines. So maybe, maybe I can keep the bigger routines, you know? And I'm not talking wake up at 8, eat breakfast, take your meds by 8.30, that kind of thing. No, I'm not a morning person. I'm really not. And I know the cats would benefit from a routine, too, because they go bonkers, you know, if one of us stays up later than usual. Not that there is a usual, but just, just, anyway, 
lost my train of thought. Where did it go? Before the cats. What was I talking about? Oh, I'm not talking, you know, like this time. Wake up at this time every day. This time. Make sure you've taken your meds by this time every day. Have lunch at this time every day. No, I'm not talking like that. I'm talking wake up, eat breakfast, take medication. Because if I take my meds before breakfast, it hits my system faster than the food does, and then I have lots of tummy trouble. But, so, not a timetable routine. I'm talking like a list, checklist. Bing, bang, boom. Because, w and when I leave the house, I have a checklist. And if I'm in a hurry, and I forget to go through the checklist in my head, I forget something. You know, winter. The last time I went out, I almost forgot gloves. And I had just lectured one of my neighbors for not wearing gloves because her hands were like almost blue. And I still almost forgot gloves because I didn't go through the checklist. And even when he goes out, I have a checklist in my head to make sure he doesn't forget anything. So, hopefully this will work. If you're religious, pray for me. If not, send me good karmic thoughts because the doctors say if I get into a routine, even a general one because I don't work, my day is pretty broad, you know, that it'll help the way my brain works and my memory. So, wish me luck, pray, do a spell, I don't know. but. It's Here's hoping.